Greetings to the 30 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the ox of fairy name of Abba Yahuwah Aloahim. This is the ox of fairy name that is above every other single name you ever know, eternal. Yes, like I always love to say, that name is not big Jesus Christ from the pit of hell. No, he's not a snake Allah from the pit of hell, okay? He's not any man made up names from the pit of hell. But it is simply Yahuwah. Meaning what? I am that I am. Yud he wahe. Exodus chapter 3 verses 13 through 15. That is where we get this holy eternal fiery name from. I am that I am. I am whose I am. And his son's name, Yahushua HaMashiach, the eternal high priest, the king of kings that died from the, for the sins of humanity, in order for you and I to lay hold on this eternal rest we all seek for, we all long for. His name is Yahushua, meaning what? I am his salvation. His name, English name, is salvation. Joshua, meaning salvation, that is his English name. And the Arabic or Aramic version, the very first hand translation, is Yeshua, many words, Yah will save. Yah will save. That is the first hand translation. Okay, so the Aramic version said, He will save you. I'm okay with this also because he is still saving us. But the Hebrew version said he has already done it. Yeah, his salvation. You can't find Paul called Jesus Christ in Yahuwah. Mm -mm, holy Yahushua. Yes, every one of us do carries our father's name. Only a bastard don't know his father's name. His or her father's name. But a true, legit son of the kingdom and daughters of the kingdom simply know the name of their father, like I do. So my father's name is Yahuwah. And his son's name is Yahushua. And the Ruach HaKodesh, that is the eternal set apart spirit of Abba Yahuwah, the one that does one, the eternal oxygen. Yes, he's the miracle worker. He's the teacher. He's the very DNA of Abba Yahuwah. Let me tell you, he's the breath of eternity. He's the Ruach HaKodesh. Yes, simple as that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba. Bless your holy mighty name. Love you so much. All right, now, family, quick, quickly, we want to do the leftover part. Can I call it leftover part? The one we just looked into last week's Shabbat. In fact, last week's Shabbat could be called introduction. Yes, introduction. That is, we just introduced the amount of Abba Yehua. That is not actually the message. Now we want to look into the message. So that's why I cut my worship space short in order for us to look into the most wonderful part of Abba Yahuwah. Mm? We want to address some certain area because Abba Yahuwah, now, no one can finish knowing Yahuwah. That is why that message came urgently. So I couldn't do no research and check over and check over I just put it out just the way it was in my heart because i was so blown off with the mercy of abba yahuwah and his love for humanity for everyone except the blasphemer so i would like to correct some city area that because i couldn't liberate more on it i was just so carried away with the forgiving heart of abba yahuwah i would like nobody to call this one a contradiction because it's not contradiction I was just being carried away, you know, so excited. I don't even, you know, uh, uh, try to break it down. The mountain of Abba Yahuwah. Okay, so that's what we'll look into that before we dig into the real uh, message of 
this wonderful mind of Abe Yehoah. So now let me call the title. All right. They want to do last week Shabbat. Is is just an introduction. All right, now family, we want to do why we're here today. Here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message already titled for you and me right at part one. Science called it Jupiter and Mars. Yahuwah called it Abraham Bosom and Mars a taste of paradise who do good works. Now, this is the area I want to elaborate more on it. Who do good works part two okay it is very much possible family you come in contact with this very part uh, two and have we yet listened to part one P please i encourage you to go and do that go do that go do listen to part one but if you have already done the you not know, listening to the introduction now more power of understanding for you to grab okay the fullness the totality of this part two thank you Abba. i love you so much for your a spirit of redemption yes for your spirit of redemption i just will fire everywhere around the camp of israel thank you so much for your kind hearted for your infinite mercy love you so much thank you for your mercy that also located the unbeliever the atheist who also do good works hallelujah unto you right now family let's do what we are here today all right now family let's start walking our way from this very wonderful scripture the mind of abi who are through every other uh, parts so one of preset the title because this i think this was the only scripture scripture we were able to read last week now we're here romans chapter 2 verses 11 for there is no respecter of persons with yahuwah now yahuwah don't care who you are he only care about his mercy okay and Abayawa is also using me to do, talk about this mercy. That is the paradise of the unbelievers, the atheists that do good works. Let me tell you, this is the good works. Islamic Allah is also impersonating. Remember, not that kind of good works because that is a ground of blasphemous. Mm -mm. Everyone that had to do with that group, it is simply the link of fire. Because the link of fire have also four planets. Okay. Like I lost, like I described it in part one. Okay, that's why you must listen to if you are not yet. Now, remember, you know, Allah said you must keep your good works must at which your bad works. This is not that kind of good what uh, good works we are talking about. Your good works we are talking about. That's what we want to look into. It have nothing uh, at all to do with that of Allah. Mm -mm. But this is the paradise. Allah is also impersonating, lying to Islam. That when you blow off people, when you destroy people, when you kill people, Shadi Allah wa kubaru, this this place gonna is this. Yes, your paradise. Allah have no paradise. Neither do Jesus have any paradise. These are all impersonators and liars from the pits of hell. Now, these good words we are talking about, like I said, and the area I quickly want to correct because I was in this vision because I, I said that message already. As I listened back to it, I said, All children is going to mass, all children, because mass is our first paradise until Yahushua comes. Mass is red. Okay, let me also quickly put that it's a red planet. Science said it's a red planet, and I do that already. What makes it to be red? Adam, that is the planet of Adam, the first Adam. Why the one they call Jupiter is the holy paradise is the planet of the second Adam from Wales. We also see some certain part of it called Abraham Bosom. That is the holy paradise. Okay. But Mars, okay, the red planet was the uh, paradise of Adam. Okay. Adam went there first. That until Yahushua comes. The place they call Jupiter. Okay, whereby Abba, Abba Yawa call it paradise, we are not yet, you know, available. It was there, but was it was of course it was shut until Yahushua comes. Nobody entered there. All the first test, all the saints of the first of the of the Old Testament, we are in mass. Now, when you still die, if you are not a blasphemer and you do good works, when when you die. 
like the people, our people in the Christian dome, are not the one in Islam because Islam is a blasphemous ground. Nobody there will ever make it to any weather banks or the holy paradise. No one. Because that is a blasphemous ground. Okay. Now, in the ground of Christian, the congregation, okay, over there when they died, because there is filth and there is mess in them, they will still go to this mass and they will claim they will be cleansed over there just as old testament saints we are there. In like manner, they will go there for uh, for purification before they will be translated into a glorified body. Only a glorified body enter paradise. Mass okay, let me put that one now. Science saw this very particular place. And call it as a red planet. So what make it red? Sin makes it red. Now, the reason why unbeliever is going there, the one that do good works. That is, I bet you are going to be judging people with conscience. That is the area I want to look into. Yes, the area I quickly also want to... Uh, um, mm, mm. Oh, my father... Uh, now, what I want to say, I lost the words. It will come again. Yes, the area I want to clarify, the part I want to clarify, the part I really want to liberate on, because last week was just introduction, so excited. We are unable to also see the other side, or the other part of it. They, whereby I said in part one, all children that is on that age is going to mass. Okay, as I make that mess, I listen to it. I say, eh, I could I couldn't even you know do my own uh, you know calculation and research. Like Abbe was said, our apostle chapter two and said it was gonna pour out his spirit upon all flesh. That was the terminology Abbe was also used for me. Because that message came so urgently, so there was not a time or a chance for me to also so the scripture before I understand that language that all children are going to mass, uh, mass is their paradise, which is called the red planet. So that was the language is also used for me. So as soon as, as soon as I just lay my head after I finish, you know, listening back to that message again, something struck me. I was struck. Then as soon as I, you know, lay my head, I saw a lady with a child on her back being cast into hell, and I said, ah. Uh -uh. What is going on here? It says she's a blasphemer. She is a blasphemer. Anything that comes from the root of blasphemers, whether you are a dead infant, you will be thrown into hell. You will be thrown into link of fire. Your good words can never outrun that. Like the homosexual, the LGBT community. What good words is going to come out from there? That is going to make a bad Well, You know, some also do have children. That is going to make Abbe want to say him because your father did good works. Uh, no! Oh, homosexual, lesbian, any seed that proceed from that blasphemous ground, it will be thrown into fire. Whether you are a day old or just one hour old baby, it doesn't really count. Because you proceed from a cursed tree. Not good works of your father that will at, at wish that at all. Like the okay, like the arm robbers, you you keep people, you rob their properties. Later, you will not take whatever part, and you will begin to do good works. No, you'll be thrown into fire. Like the money ritual, the the one they call Yahoo Yahoo. So you will destroy lives. You will kill lives. You will destroy life you never created. It is he that came by sword. You also go by sword. No matter how great is your good works, you will be thrown into fire. That is the area I want to clarify. How about you want to use that terminology for me? Like he said in our Apostle chapter 2, verses 16 through 21, that he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Is he really going to do that to all flesh? Of course not. Is he going to be pouring out his spirit upon homosexuality? Upon, do, upon bestiality? Those that, is, those that is having sex with animals? And is he going to be pouring out his spirit upon arm robbers? Yahoo, yeah, your oppressors? Is he going to be pouring out his spirit upon the ground of Islam? Of course not. 
So which which is what, what does that mean? What is that you are saying? Who are they? All oh, flesh. He's gonna be pouring out his spirit on. It is simply all elect. Oh Yazrael, like he said in Romans chapter 20, excuse me, Romans chapter 11, from verses 11 through 25, no, 27. 26, 25, no, 26 said, oh Yazrael will be saved. Oh. So all flesh is minister unto me, the very one I speak on in part one, simply me, all flesh, those that do good works, or their children. That does not deviate. Or their children that stick with the good words of their father. Whether they are unbeliever. Whether they are atheist. Whether they are pagan. As far as they have conscience. Because he said in his word. Revelation chapter 3. Verses 15 or so. He said I prefer you to be cold or hot. You see the middle part one. That is his enemy. The, 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 his enemy the deceiver. You can't deceive anybody and say your good works is going to outweigh that. No. So we need to put it in a very uh, proper context. Who is it? This very, who, who is it? Who is he talking about? Who is going to this very planet called Mars? The paradise of the atheist. Who are they? Who are they? So I think this one is going to be making it so clear. Like uh, Revelation chapter 9. Verses 20, he said, while they were being tormented by the anti-Messiah, that ascended from the bottomless pit, which is the Messiah of Islam, Mahadin, he said, but men still reject, okay, men still refuse to repent from the worst of their hands. They were still worshipping stone and wood. They were still worshipping idols. Who are those people? These are the lukewarm. These are the lukewarm. These are the lukewarm. These are not... Uh, 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 the, these are not the very cold one. The very cold one, the lukewarm, who are lukewarm, like Christian today, they are lukewarm. That when uh, uh, Mahadi is tormenting them, they will say, they're gonna, still going to be calling, in Jesus' name, hey, in Jesus' name, hide me. They're still going to be praying for Jesus. Jesus is idol. Jesus is idol. Come on now. Jesus is simply stone idol worship. This is the lukewarm. Jesus have no heavy. He have no power of redemption. He never even died. Or he rather he died for his own wickedness. He died for his own wickedness. His own error. Like people, Christians that worship on Sunday. They are worshiping their son. That is idol. Come on now. These are, these are idols. These are lukewarms. The very one, Yahushua I will spew you out of my mouth. You see the one, the genuine idol worship. Worship it as to a wound, wood with their very clear conscience. Loving their neighbor. Hurting nobody. Their paradise is mass. Not Chris, not, 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 not the deceiver, not the blasphemers. Mm -mm. Now, Revelation, I quickly want to clear all this out of the way. Revelation chapter 20, uh, verses uh, 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 10 through 15. It also says something over there. If Abayua is going to be pouring out all his, all, pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, then who is going to the link of fire? Why is this said? If your name is not written in the book of life, you'll be thrown into fire. Why? So we, 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 we're supposed to know all flesh is speaking on, all children is speaking on, not every single person that did good works. Mm -mm. If you blasphemed, you are an robber, you are wicked. No matter how good works you would do, it can never outwage it. It can never rewrite your rewrite your history no your history still remain your history so i get this out of the way already i think this is perfectly you know clear now now we can proceed into why we're here today so this is the very mass you see it's it uh, yeah it's very clear now you see it's red planet very reddish let me also read what they write say the new word on mass what we can 
uh, create on the red planet. You see what we can create. Like I said in the in the part one, science has already sent two robots to this very place because they said this is their second home. But it is simply the paradise of the 80s that do good works. Okay, so let's 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 do what we are here now. <clears throat> I get that out of the way already. Like I said, I will do this message again. I'll put it together and I will do it again. Now, uh, Proverbs chapter 16, verses 4. Listen now. I bet you not respecter of anybody. He blesses whosoever he wants to bless. He rescues whosoever he wants to rescue. Whether you are an idol worshiper, provided you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Provided you don't hurt nobody, you don't steal nobody, you don't oppress nobody, you don't take what is not yours. You don't do any of these things at all that is, that is going to make you wicked in his sight. You only have problem that, okay, you don't believe uh, you don't believe in God, this is what you believe in. Okay, you don't believe on stone and wood at all, you just live. That is it, is just live on your own, yet you are not hurting nobody. Yet you are not doing wickedness. Yet you are not stealing from nobody. You are not so instead of wickedness. You are not so instead of discord. You are not playing witchcraft at all. You just live simple, normal. Of course, when you die, you go to mass. Your good was we definitely send you to Mars, the paradise of the atheist. But not after you are, you, you, your hand is full of blood, stained with blood of humanity, you will not begin to say you want to do good works in order for you, you will, still, you will not escape fire. <clears throat> now listen, Proverbs 16, 4. Yahweh had made all things for, his, for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Did you get that? So, including science, I bet you is the one using them to dig out this unbelievable, you know, sign we are seeing on the internet, on the social media. No, this is this blew me off. Red planet, blue planet. We have two blue planets. In fact, there is also one they call ring planet. And uh, here, the one I said, I said, I don't know what that is. Uh, the one they call what the Saturn, you know, these are all pagan gods' names. Okay, science says some part of science said they don't believe God, but the names, the names, the, 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 the names of the planet or the planet they discover through their telescope, they named all after gods and goddesses, and yet they are telling me they don't believe in God that the God does he exist. But why are you naming you know the planets you discover? Uh, the name of gods, and you know about the histories, but yet you still name them all oh, this wonderful planet, the name of gods and goddesses. Anyways, we are not after Dana, but Abiyawa created all things for his own use. That's what we are saying. So you, they using this uh, micro or technology digging out spirituality. Yes, that is how Abiyawa wanted. Uh, Colossians. Okay, let me. I, I will also love to read this. I would love to read this so I quickly I want to prepare people's mind okay to see how wonderful Abbe Yehua is uh, Colossians where is Colossians uh, yeah chapter 1 verses 15 through 17 I read listen say I created all things for my own use okay who is the image of the invisible Yahuwah, the firstborn of every creature, for by him we all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things we are created for, uh, uh, all things we are created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist you see he created everything included including included the technology telescope they are using to discover all this you know i call it spirituality because me i'm not seeing it our natural eye cannot see all this eight planet in fact all planets planets is even more than 40 the one they call dwarf planets okay is a planet that doesn't meet up with the category of this very one we dwells in okay but they all they 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 all oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no okay i think i will be reserving this the short people they have their own planets that is the blue two the one they call blue two the one they call blue two is their planet 
the dwarf people. That is their planet. And um, oh no, Christians have their planets as we are speaking now. Islam also have their own planet because it's very day. This one is could be more than twelve years ago. I mean, what took me there? Everything that has to do with the planet of Islam, it is all mosque, mosque, mosque. He said that is the side of Islam. And Christians also have their own. These people homosexual have their planets. Come on now. They don't dwell among humans. They have their own. They came from somewhere. And they might also have their own planets. A lot of planets, okay? We are seeing my spiritual with my, in, in the vision of the night, but science is seeing theirs through microscope. Uh, no, excuse me, through telescope. A natural eye is not seeing it. Science or the scientist is seeing theirs through telescope technology, but I'm seeing mine. A believer is seeing. Is, I'm seeing mine in the vision. I bet you why it's using the secular world instrument to confirm spirituality. So he created all things for his own use. And the time will come, maybe the day of judgment, you will know why I bet you why is doing all this. Okay, I read Numbers twenty-two. I bet you why use anima, donkey to rebuke the madness of a false prophet how much more science Jonas chapter 2 I bet you why use a fish to do his work okay to also correct the error of the running away prophet Jonah how much more science if I bet you can use a donkey and use fish to do his work so what is science that I bet you cannot also use so I bet you use science to dig it out okay now Matthew chapter 6 Verses 25 through 30. Let's see if I will be able to read this. I will redo this message again. But the one I want to look into next week, Shabbat, is the Venus and the Ares. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 30. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, not nor yet for your body what ye shall put on it is not the life more than meat and the body more than clothes behold the flower be, behold the fowl of the air for they so not neither do they reap nor gather into bands yet your heavenly father fed them are ye not much better than they if a be yahuwah can still take care of anima Grass of the feet. So why Abi why will not take care of atheist? Does he live by conscience? I said, this is my neighbor. I will not hurt. I will not lie. I will not see, steal from him or her. I will not say a seed of discord among family and friends. I won't be doing that. Live quietly, peaceably, you know, peacefully in the land. Why would what will ever make Abi want to put such a person in fire? Because they don't know him. No, this is their paradise. Listen to part one. Because I will not be repeating what I have already said over there. Animals in, on, in the air. Foul. I bet he wants to take care of them. Now 27. Which of you by uh, taking thought. Okay, let me leave that 28 now. And then your thought. Okay, okay, let's leave that 29. And yet, I say unto you that Solomon, in all this, okay, no, I'm, I want to read that of the feed, yes, 28. And why take ye thought for, uh, for remnants? Consider the lily, uh, lilies of the feed, how they grow. They thought not, neither do they spend. Yet, and yet, I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not enriched like one of these. Wherefore, if Yahweh so cloth the grass of the feed, if Abewa can show mercy to the grass of the feed that is here today, tomorrow is no more, how much more a person that lives by conscience, that do good works, that did not blaspheme him, that did not mock, uh, not blaspheme him, 
Okay, yeah, that did not blaspheme him because they said every other sin will be forgiven, but you see, sins of blasphemy, no, 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 no forgiveness, uh -uh, no forgiveness, except if I'm robber repented. Yes, of course, except if Yahoo Yahoo repented, Bondoras, except if you repented. Yes, of course, that's now you are born again, fine, or except you stop doing all those things, you can also repent being unbeliever. You can also repent being unbeliever. Okay, you were once a thief. No, I don't want to sin no more. You judge by conscience. Oh, you were you were you were once a uh, arm robber. No, a uh, murderer. I don't want to do this. Ah, these are human. Then you be judged by conscience. You were once a liar. Not that you carry Bible, but your conscience now is judge is judging you. You know our conscience is how is the first throne of judgment. Whatever, whatever will do, our conscience definitely will judge us. Whether you are born again, you are not, or you are not born again, that is why you see unbeliever they can still do good things and say, "I was once this." We also have it in the word of unbeliever. I was once this, but no more. What makes them to repent? They did not carry Bible. What makes them to stop that dirty lifestyle? Conscience being judged by conscience. So these are the people. This place is for made for mass. Red planet, the paradise of the unbelievers or the atheists. No when you keep stealing, you keep doing wickedness, and you after you have done that, you will just carry huge amount of money, you'll be happy the offers. No, that good was is not recognized. You will still face judgment. Except you stop doing all this haughty human being. Now, Abbey Wa is not talking about himself. He's talking, you know, we have two kinds of love. We are coming into that. Okay, we have two kinds of love. Love Yahuwah, first of all. Secondly, you love your neighbor. But if you, ref you refuse to love Yahuwah, yet you love your neighbor, I say mass is your, is your, is your heaven. We are, we are read that already. Now, uh, where is this? Mark chapter 12. Verses 30 through 31. Okay, let's read that now. Mark chapter 12. Yeah, this is where I just quoted. Let's read now. And thou shalt love Yahuwah, thy Elohim, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Let's check out the second one. How about your wife? not a selfie here. Who are? He is not saying because you don't love me for that. Regardless, everything good works you have done will still put you in fire. No. You don't love me, but you love your neighbor. Still, Abba said it's okay by him. 31. And the second is like, my, uh, is like, namely this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than this. This is the highest commandment of it all. Loving Yahweh first of all. Secondly, loving your neighbor. But Abbey Wai is saying prior to this uh, red planet, uh, paradise of the unbeliever, or rather the paradise of Adam, or the planet of Adam, because Adam simply mirrored genealogy blood. Okay. And that was our first, our, our, our patriarchs, okay, all oh, the Old Testament saints. Before King Yahushua comes, that was, that, that was their paradise until King Yahushua came to cleanse them and translate them into the holy paradise. Okay, now, you don't love Abbe Yehua. You are very cold, pagan, utterly, but yet you love your neighbor. Because you don't see Yahuwah unless you see your neighbor. What you don't like doing to yourself, why doing it to your neighbor? What you don't like nobody do to you, why do you do why doing it to your neighbor? Okay, I don't like this. Also apply that to your neighbor. I won't like this. Uh, I, I, I won't like you to do this to me. Okay, apply that also to your neighbor. Okay, you have okay, you have oh, you have this. Okay, let me also share love. Let me also share my food with my neighbor. Oh, my neighbor is dying of starvation and I have what it takes to take care of my neighbor. Why would I do that? Yes, let me show you what the rich wicked man did. What make Abbe you want to throw him into fire? That is the rich man and Lazarus case. 
The rich man have every single thing that he that he will take. He, he will take him to take care of Lazarus. He was sick. The rich man have money to care for him. The rich man have money to take him to the hospital. The rich man have money to even rent a house or put him put him in one of his houses. He have what it takes. To look after Lazarus. I bet you keep sending Lazarus unto him. He keeps sending Lazarus unto him. But this wicked animal. Yes, I will call him wicked animal. He couldn't get it. He, could, he couldn't foresee. He didn't say Lazarus. The crumbs that fall from my mouth. That is what, you, that is what you're going to be living in. You will live on this. This is your food. Meanwhile, you can set his table also. That is how you love your neighbor as you love yourself. You must have sympathy. You must have mercy. You must have compassion because this is the neighbor you are seeing. It is a human being like you. Even though life bend him that way, even though life is not friendly, friendly on him, even though life is so hard on him, even though life is so tough on him, even life make him that way. And you have what it takes to also put a smile in his face. Just go ahead and do it. That is good words. But the rich man failed his own. Are you going to be acting like the rich man who missed the mark? The rich man was also an unbeliever. But yet he missed the mark. As he was able to grab that understanding. Mars is his paradise. That is what Abiyawa meant. By good words. This is how you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Not when you have food to spare and someone is dying of starvation. You say, What is my business? I bet go and struggle for yourself. Fool. No, that is wickedness. But whereby you take a thought and your conscience is dodgy, you oh no, I can't, can't easily put smile on this person's face. Why can't I also just give, you know, this person so, so, so this or so, so that? To also put smile in his or her face. Okay? That is how you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Anyone that, that is good words before I bet you one. Now, okay, you missed the mark. You were not born again. Okay, you refuse to repent. Okay, you don't want to love me. Okay, you don't want to save me. You don't even want to know about me. Fine. What about the second one? That is your second chance. You miss the first chance, but you shouldn't miss the second chance. Okay? So, Matthew chapter 5 now, verses 43. Okay, I also love to read here. Yeah, it's also awesome. And see how wonderful Abiyawa is. And see how lovely my maker is. What is this nonsense? They are true. Okay, yeah. Matthew chapter 5, verses 43. Let's see what Abbey will also say over there. I read, Ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. This one is heavy, isn't it? 44. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Pray for them that curse you. Do good for them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he make his soul to shine on the evil and on the good. And send ray, uh, send ray on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the, 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 the publicans do same. You know, okay, this is where I want to talk into now. Public, that is unbeliever. He said they are also doing the same. So this is the word of, of unbeliever. I bet you will recognize that. He said, like me now, I'm a believer. Okay, I will, always, I, will, I will only love the one that loved me. Now, come on now. He said, now you will be grouped in the group of unbeliever. Because I bet you are us all, whether you are good, you are bad, you are born again, you are, he owes all of us, okay? Now, unbelievers, which is the Republican or the Republican, they do good. You know, they love their neighbor, okay? I don't think unbelievers will be able to love their enemy, but they love their neighbors. That is all we are saying. 
let me take 50, uh, 46 again. If ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans do same for the same. And if ye salute your brother only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? But, okay, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Two message over here. We see that unbeliever, which is that it is the publicans, okay, the public, okay, they love those who love them. They show love to one another, okay. They salute one another. So there is harmony. There is friendship in the world of unbelievers. Okay, now, I bet you wanna, the second message is that, I bet you what caused rain to fall for me. Now, believe that love him. He also caused the same rain to fall for him. Who, do, who did not love him? Who did not even know him? Okay, now, Jupiter, the one they call Jupiter, not Jupiter is a very bad name because it's a ghost. Hmm? It's a ghost. Our holy paradise. But I will be saying, I will be saying that for a better communication because of the name science gave unto Jupiter. Okay. Now gave unto that massive planet. They have seven layers. Now, if Abba Yawa put me there in the holy paradise, it's also putting those that do good works in the unholy paradise, which is the mass. Mass share brother with Jupiter, with the holy paradise paradise okay i'm also running out of time i won't be liberating more okay so i bet you will have paradise for me holy one I also have paradise for they that good for they that do good was the unholy paradise our first home the one catholic is called a poor go tree they say when you die god will first of all say you there for purification before you will be translated into heaven this is the heaven they are talking this is the place they are talking about but it's not purgatory it is like this planet it is like this earth okay okay let's put other scriptures now so i bet you will have good thought for them that 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 that, 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 that live by conscience okay romans chapter 2 okay now i want to do the conscience part romans chapter Two verses fourteen and fifteen. This is where Abba Yawa make it so plain that unbeliever will be judged by good works. Now I read, for where the Gentiles which have not Romans chapter two verses fourteen and fifteen uh, through sixteen. Listen up, for where the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law so who are gentiles gentiles is unbeliever they don't have the bible they don't believe bible they don't live for yahuwah but what is in the bible they are keeping it <laughs> in their word they love their neighbor as just the, as they love themselves they are doing good works you know you know they rescue people they save souls But that is what the law speak on, the second commandment. And he said, there's no other one other than these two. First of first commandment, love your creator as yourself. And the second one is like the, the first one. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. He said, these are the greatest of all commandments. Love summar summarize all commandments. Show kindness to your neighbor. Be kind and be good and be real. Don't take what is what does not what does not belongs to you. Don't oppress nobody. If you even have this money, you are on top. Still give respect to, to one another. Okay? See, carry the poor in your heart. Just live no more simple lifestyle without looking down on people, without you know oppressing people. I take 14 again. For where the Gentiles which have not the law. Do by nature the things contained in the law. These having not the law are a law unto themselves. They don't have the law. But Abbe was said I create all things. That is their word. That is the word Abbe created. Uh, uh, created them for. 
So they don't carry Bible, but the, the Bible is written in their heart somehow. I will say, no, this thing is not for me. Uh -uh, and I will not touch it. No, 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 no. They don't lie. They don't deceive. They don't oppress. That is law. That is our law. What is in their heart also. So these are they that will be judged by conscience. Now verses 15. Listen. Which show the work of the law written in their hearts. Horrible oh, Sikayaba. I didn't even know this one is here. He said, which shown the work of the law written in their hearts. Their conscience also bear witness. Oh my Abba. He, the heart of the unbeliever, their conscience is bear witness for the law. And their thoughts, the mean why accusing or else exercising one Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, one another. E, they are conscious. When you do bad, your conscience is going to judge you. When you do good, your conscience will also let you know. Un unbeliever is also being judged by conscience. 16. In the day when Yahweh shall judge the secrets of men by, uh, by Yahushua Hamishiach according to my gospel. Now, Yahweh said he's going to judge the unbeliever by conscience. Okay, now, you are the one that worship me. Stay here. Okay, stay at my right hand side. Of course, paradise, holy one is yours. Okay, you that does not worship me, conscience, but you live by conscience, stay in the middle. And you that blaspheme, wicked soul, stay, you are the goat. Stay at my left hand. Those will be thrown into fire. No matter the good works you do, it can never at wish or at uh, uh, you know uh, undo your wickedness. You that come to the top, you say you are a billionaire, brigade. Did you oppress people? Did you steal from nobody? No, if you steal from somebody, if you make your wealth through unjust gain, and later on you now begin to show do charity work, you now begin to show kindness, that can never undo your wickedness. Except you stop oppression. Except you stop oppressing the poor. Except you stop oppressing people. That is your own kind of repentance, like we just see from the royal law that the uh, unbeliever's conscience is bearing witness for the law. That their conscience is judging there. If they do but their conscience will say, no, you hurt your brother. Go and apologize. He, he or she will, indeed. Oh, brother, sorry. Oh, sister, sorry. Oh, my friend, sorry. Oh, my neighbor, sorry. I, I, I didn't make that. Okay? That was not in my, that, that was in my intention. I'm sorry. Being judged by conscience. Oh, Shand Mass is their paradise. That's what we are saying. Though I have read this, but there is some city area I also want us to look into. Luke chapter 6, verses 27 through 31 or so. But I say unto you, which but I say unto you, which year, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and uh, pray for them that's, that desperately. Okay. That's probably okay. Honey, we have read that already. And until that, okay, uh, okay, the slappy here. Yeah, that is make it peace. Yeah, give to every man that asks you. Uh huh. This is the area I want to read. Yeah, now listen, give to every man that asks of thee and of him that uh take away thy okay goods. A uh, goose, ask him not. Okay, now when somebody because maybe that person don't have it, okay. It can come to to ask for borrow, okay. At the end of it, that person we are unable to pay. It's said just let it be, leave it, leave it, just let it be. Maybe that person couldn't meet up, okay. Don't ask bad, just leave it. You know that person is strong, is strongly. Excuse me, yeah, that person is strongly. Okay, it might come for like kind of borrow. Please, can you borrow me some something? I'm I'm really in need. And you gave it unto the person. And as, as time goes on, that person could he, he couldn't meet you know meet up to pay whatever whatever he or she asks. He said, don't just let it go. If it's in your capacity to free that person, you just say, okay, I I, I I I you know I gifted you. Don't bother. 
No need for you to pay it back. No, no need for you returning it back. Just have it. Just have it. Just have it. These are the good words that, that, that needs to be written in the heart of unbelievers, okay? It's a gift to every man that asks you, asks you, that asks of thee. If they ask you, you have give to them. No way you have, you refuse to give to them. And that person can die for that reason. The blood will be on your head. And of him that take away thy goods, he said, don't bother. There was, and yes, but that man should do to you. Okay, do. Okay. And as ye want that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. 32. If ye love them, which love you. Okay, we read this already. 38 now. Love your enemies, yes. They keep re repeating it. Reward shall be. Okay, okay, let me quickly. 35. But love your, love ye your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing again. You, you learn, you borrow that. Don't hope for anything. Just leave it. Let it go because it's in your capacity. You are capable in blessing that person. Just let give it to a person. Give it to that person and say, just forget about it. It's a gift for you. And your reward shall be great. And ye shall be the children of the Most High. For, his in, for, his, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. He so, said, I mean, well, he's kind to even to the evil. Okay, be ye therefore merciful as your father also is merciful. Judge not, okay, so that you will not be judged. Okay, give and it shall be given unto you. Measurement, a hair press down and shaking together and running over shall may give unto your bosom. For with the same measure you that it, for with the same measure that ye uh, made, okay, this is where Christian Pastor use it to extract money from people. If you give big one, press it down, this and that, it's going to be running over. Did you see anything over there? It's just talking about relationship with my kind. Relationship with your friends, with your family, with your neighbor. That's what it's talking about. If you borrow somebody, okay, I don't have, I will pay you so-so time. And that time comes, I will be unable. He said, you should forget about it. Because you have more than enough. My brother, keep it. My sister, just keep it. When you do this good works. So these are the law written in the heart of the unbelievers, okay? So I only have two or three minutes to go. I won't be, I don't think I will be reading any message anymore. So we have read Matthew already. Matthew 21, 28 through 31. What was there? Let me quickly check. Okay, now I will be reading just 31. Matthew 20, 21 verses 20, 28 through 31. Okay. It was talking about how a high lot, the reason why high lot will be seen in it will be seen in the kingdom of Abel. It said the high lot is gonna go into the king. Okay, let me just it said that mm -hmm. where of uh, okay, whether of the twin did the will the will of his father. They said unto him the first, Yahushua said unto them, Verily I say unto you, unto, unto you that the publicans and the high lords. Go into the kingdom of Yahuwah before thee. Here's the area. So publican simply means the atheist, okay? And uh, and the high lot. Who is the high lot? Read uh, Joshua chapter 2 and chapter 6. That is, uh, what was an Rahab? The help, she did good works. She was never born again. But she did good works. She entered into paradise. It could be mass, of course. That we are talking about the eighties paradise. So that was mass, okay? She entered paradise. You can read that one in your, in your quiet time. Revelation twelve, verses five. The red beast, okay. The red dragon, which is sin. Revelation thirty one. The red beast, which is sin, okay. Um, Isaiah or oh, eighteen one. Yeah, your sin as scarlet. Mark chapter five. Blood, sin, blood, okay. It simply means sin. That is why that planet is also red. Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. The case of rich man, Lazarus. Okay, and Lazarus. Okay, 23, verses 13. I won't be able to establish the, this ones. Uh, Second Corinthians. So, my father, I'm running out of time now. Luke 21. That is about the thief in the, in, that was in the... the, the Yahushua said, you, he said tonight, you will be with me in paradise. So, that is the paradise he sent that thief to. Okay? That thief... 
He said tonight they will be they will be with me in paradise. So this is the paradise we are looking into now. Okay. The visions of apostleship, verse uh, chapter forty three. I won't be able to read that. Oh no, mm, I won't be able to read that. Okay, Matthew twenty four verses twenty, Revelation two verses seven. What was that? Revelation two seven. Yeah, paradise. Okay. Now, uh, the visions of Apostle Shehu, Abbey also gave Shabbat. Shabbat is free. Exodus 31, verses 13 through 17. On the Shabbat, eternity, nobody will be in fire. Fire will be quenched. Fire is not lit on the Shabbat, whether in the link of fire, except the, the hottest place in the link of fire. The part three, one and two and three in the link of fire, there is no fire on the Shabbat. Abba Iwasi is extend kindness to people. I will be stopping over here. 